Hey, it's Rocky Fields with Vegas On, about to hit the road with Poker Pro and the host of the World Poker Tour, Tony Dunst. Thank you for joining me. Of course, looking forward. I'm excited to have some sushi with you, right? Yes, we are going to my favorite sushi restaurant in oh Las gosh, Vegas. Sushi is my favorite. Now, you are a poker player. You are used to taking risks, so you're okay with me driving you. I'll take my chances. All right, let's go. So it's called Sun of Japan. Okay. It has been there at least as long as I've been around Vegas, which has been about 15 years. Okay. It is maybe the most popular go-to spot for poker players I know in town. Really? Yeah, we say it's kind of like our cheers. You go in there, they know your name, you probably that. see friends. <laughs> I like I've gone in there and run into three separate group of friends who were on who were there uncoordinated. You know, what is going on here in Vegas? What should people expect? You have tournaments every day at a variety of stops on the strip. Okay. Normally, depending on your buy-in level, you could, if you wanted, play events at three different properties on a given day. And it is our adult summer camp. The strip is in the distance. We are at your off-the-strip hotspot since right. Japan. I'm ready. I'm always so excited for this place, and I bet you it lives up to the hype. Oh, oh you bet me? Definitely. Let's see what you did there. All right. Okay, I think the, our first roll is on the way. Or do you have your poker face on? I brought my eating hat, that's for sure. I don't know, poker face, yeah, I don't okay, know what it is. Okay, is there, is there actually a poker face? There's, I mean, most myth? people just go statue, is what it is. <laughs> okay. They just go completely frozen. Where did the inspiration come from? Just, right. You know, how did you get here? <laughs> you know, I started playing when I was 16, 17 in high school with friends. Okay. And around that time, Poker blew up on television. The World Series main event, always the biggest of the year. Any of the WPTs that we run here are always massive. And we have the most poker tournaments here because there are numerous properties running tournaments right. around the calendar year. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to, to young men and women out there that right. want to be future poker players? If they want to be future poker players, just know that it's a very competitive and at times difficult lifestyle. So when all your poker friends are coming to town, let's give them their itinerary real quick. Where right. are they going? What places are they hitting? As far as food goes on the strip, I'm more of a late night spot guy. Like Sushi okay. Samba at Venetian. If I bust out of a tournament late at Venetian over at Wynn, I'm walking up to Sushi Samba. If it's somewhere around Aria, Lemongrass, their Thai restaurant, that's open till like 2 a.m. last I checked. You're an Asian so, cuisine guy. I'm an Asian cuisine guy. <laughs> if we want to bounce over to Chinatown, there's some more really good places. There's Hobok for Korean barbecue. There's okay. Lamai for Thai. And Lotus and Siam, I'll give them a shout out because they're kind of a Vegas staple. Mm -hmm. that everyone wants to, everyone needs to try once. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, Vegas Line, I will send it back to you guys. This is Rocky Theus with Tony Dunn.